be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up if you like today's content. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, today I'm going to be continuing our series on how to make beats in 10 minutes or less. And basically in this series, what we do is we make a one, uh, one beat over the course of three videos, okay? So the first video, you, we make the beat in 10 minutes. The next video, we um, arrange the beat into song format, and in the video after that, we mix it in 10 minutes. So 30 minute beat, basically that's the whole point. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, I'm gonna be actually doing a drill beat. So let's go. First things first, let's get that timer up on the screen now. Okay, bet. I'm gonna start with a software instrument track. And we're gonna go with quick sampler. And since we have a 10 minute time window, I'm actually gonna be dragging and dropping some samples into Logic Pro 10. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to splice and I'm just gonna go ahead and type in drill. Okay, cool. So now that we have that, we can kind of go through these and see if we find like a melody that would work for our drill beat. So I'm gonna go over here to tags, click on melody. And now I can actually start with some of these melodies right here. Let's check this out. So that has definitely that drill vibe to it. So I'm gonna take that and drag it right over here into Logic Pro 10. Um, after we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and minimalize this real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can freak this sample just a little bit. So I'm gonna put on uh, follow tempo, okay? And uh, I also gonna type in Command K just so you can see what I'm pushing, all right? I have, I'm using a MIDI keyboard, so. So, so a lot of times when we when we make a beat, we like to put a lot of plugins on the sound to manipulate it. But right here within the quick sampler, you can do cool things. Like for instance, uh, to get like a detune effect, we can go over here to pitch, and I can turn this down some. And of course. We can also come over here to this filter, maybe cut out some of the highs. All right, bet. So I'm gonna speed up this uh, sample just a little bit by um, taking the tempo up some, take it maybe like 130. Bet. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. Um, I'm just gonna push R to record and just lay this down. Okay, and I kind of want this to, to extend, so we'll just do that. Double click here. Do a force legato, just right clicked on that. Cool, so we have our sample already drug in here. So next thing I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and say drill sample. And then I'm just gonna click on this, push uh, shift option in. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the drums. You know what I'm saying? Um, I actually wanna find like maybe some type of low bass sound to start this off. So let's go back over here to splice real quick. Instead of melody now, I can literally just go over here to bass or 808. Or we go bass. All right, so let's grab this guy right here. Pull him on in. And then what I'm gonna do is take this, I'm in a classic mode here. It's one of my favorite modes to work with when it comes to the sampling, the sampler. 
I'm just gonna take this right here and we're just gonna we're just gonna grab this one note and put a little fade on it. All right, cool. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow this particular sample. So like as you know, the cadence of the sample is going up or down. I'm gonna try to follow it with a with the lower uh, sub sound. Actually, I'm going to do it like that instead. All right, bet. So now I'm just going to go ahead. And if you're not already in this, uh, this, the uh, piano roll, you can click on the scissors or you can double click on this and it's going to open it up. All right, we're gonna do one over eight swing C. All right, cool, so we have our bass. I'm just gonna type that real quick. Let's keep this going. Now, what's the next thing you think we would need? Maybe like a, we're gonna need either, either a clap or snare or we can go hi-hats, let's see. Let's do some type of snare. Or no, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do snare. Let's so pull this up. So same process here. Um, I'm gonna go over here, and we can either go drums or I could just like really get in here and find the actual thing I need. So uh, view more tags. Let's see here. Let's try shakers. All right, let's actually do that. Let's do shakers instead of the snare first. So I'm gonna drag that in here and I'm gonna find just one of these guys and see. Yeah, probably grab this. All right, cool. So we're gonna take one of these. And now we're gonna just go ahead and lay this down. messed up at the end right here but we can fix that easily so I'm just gonna go ahead and push command a and then I'm also going to take this from 1 over 8 swing C to 1 over 16 swing C okay so that messed up a little bit cool easy way to do this is uh this Take like half of this and just do it like that. Okay, bet. So we have the shaker now. Um, from here, now we can go ahead and go with the snare or a clap. Um, software instrument track under instrument we'll go down here to quick sampler and I'm gonna drag in some more sounds okay let's keep on going instead of shakers we're actually gonna do like claps or snares let's see oh dang watch where the snares at right there so I'm gonna grab this kind of it's like a clap snare I'm gonna grab that so it kind of has like this off it's not like a regular beat where the, the clap is every you know what I'm saying it's consistent it's like off And you really only have to do like 
small amount. Like, you actually, actually you see here, here, I just did two measures. Now I can just take this and push Command R, and now we have that all the way through. Instead of me having to play it all the way through like that. So we got that uh, snare now. Now let's go ahead and start with a kick here. We gotta find some type of dope kick. It's repeating the process here. Um, software instrument track, quick sampler, and let's get it. Let's find a kick. Where are my kicks at? Boom. Turn that snares off. I like that one. It has a has, it has a nice little you know punch to it. All right, um, let's go ahead and lock this down too. pretty much kept this uh, kick pattern pretty simple as you see here um, I just added a little extra something right towards the end of this but if you really pay attention pretty much I'm actually following the bass okay so bass uh, sound right here kick bass kick bass kick you get what I'm saying just added a little spice at the end so let's check out this beat I'm actually gonna first save it I'm just gonna say drill and I'm gonna say BX, Brr, you know what I'm saying? So we'll do that BX right there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and name this. And I think the only other thing that we really need to maybe add towards this is maybe just some slight percussion elements and maybe some type of eerie sounding uh, vocal in the background, vocal chops. So let's, let's do that. I think we have maybe a couple of more minutes before this 10 minute challenge is over. Let's see. So I'm gonna go here. And we're gonna see what we can find on this. So, let's say female here. Perfect. So we grab this. We're gonna drag that in here and we're gonna to have to pitch this up. But first we'll do that by, uh, first before we do that, we're gonna turn on this follow tempo button and then we'll pitch this up to the right pitch. F sharp. This so happens that by pitching that up to F sharp, it works with this beat. So let's just go. Okay, it really just needs one more sound to really take this up to the next level. I'm gonna take, name this Vox. Push Command uh, A to highlight everything. Push Shift Option N to name everything here within the workspace window. And to wrap this up here, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is add in one more sound. I'll probably go to Alchemy here. We'll find some type of dope sound. Uh, let me see if I can find something in my ratings. Okay, Black Diamond, let's see. It's one of my favorite sounds here. Um, 
see what we can come up with. Turn that uh, box down some because it's like kind of interfering with me hearing this. I think I'm gonna keep this pattern simple. Basically, going between two notes. All right, move this guy over like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and chop this up. And boom. All right, bet. And so basically we have this um, pretty decent, I would say, drill beat that we made in around 10 minutes, okay? Um, make sure that you stay subscribed to the channel. We're gonna be dropping more and more videos like this. Make sure you check out all of the catalog um, as well, man. And if you need something that's a little bit more organized, a little more structured to help you learn music production in Logic Pro 10, please visit my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We have courses that you can download. We also have some loop kits and drum kits that you can download. And special, special, special for everybody, um, I got a one-on-one -on -one service. So basically, this is where you can book some time, an hour of time with me to ask me any type of questions with, um, regarding music production in Logic Pro 10. Um, we can go over beats that you already made. Maybe we can see what we can do to make them better in the software. Vice versa, maybe you can have me make a beat and you can see what I'm doing. I will also you know, email you a copy of the video call so you'll have that for your records as well. Make sure you go to my site, BeatMakingBasics.com. All of that's on the site. Also, you can click the links below to check out all of those things. And if you are a sponsor, you want to sponsor one of these videos, hit me up on the email in the link description below as well, man. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we're gonna be arranging this uh, dope drill beat in to song format in 10 minutes or less. So stick tuned for that video or stay tuned for that video. We're out.